The Occupation and the United Methodist Church, A Short History In 1947, responding to the withdrawal of British colonial troops, the United Nations partitioned the land of historic Palestine into two different states. 56% of the land went to a Jewish state for the many European Jewish immigrants and refugees. The other portion of the land was designated as an Arab state, where the indigenous Palestinians, the majority of the inhabitants of historic Palestine, would be able to maintain their autonomy. Jerusalem, a religious center for all three Abrahamic faiths, was designated as an international city to be administered by the United Nations. However, soon after the partition plan was created, war broke out between Israel and its Arab neighbors, causing the erasure of over 400 Palestinian villages. As a result, by 1949, Israel controlled over 78% of historic Palestine. Today, millions of Palestinian refugees and their descendants live around the world, with most still inhabiting the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, and surrounding Arab countries. After the 1967 war between Israel and its Arab neighbors, Israel occupied all of the Palestinian territories. Today, in some parts of the West Bank, Israeli Jewish settlers and Palestinians live right next to each other under two completely different sets of Israeli law. Israel's continued occupation of the Palestinian territories and the means by which Israel is maintaining the occupation are direct violations of international law. Settlements are illegal under the Fourth Geneva Convention, on which Israel signed in 1949, and the occupation of the Palestinian territories and Jerusalem is illegal according to a multitude of UN resolutions. Recognizing the illegal nature of the occupation, lamenting the continued confiscation of Palestinian land for the construction of settlements and a separation wall, and decrying the closures, curfews, dehumanizing checkpoints, home demolitions, uprooted trees, and bulldozed fields that consistently plague the West Bank and Gaza, the United Methodist Church has passed multiple resolutions calling for the end of the occupation and a halt to the building of Israeli settlements on Palestinian land. In Resolution 6112, the UMC recognizes the authority of international law as a basis for just and lasting peace in Palestine and Israel, and in Resolution 6113, the United Methodist Church commits itself to advocacy of a peaceful settlement between Israel and the Palestinians through negotiation and diplomacy. In Resolution 6111, the most comprehensive resolution on the topic, the UMC envisions a shared Jerusalem and security for both Israelis and Palestinians, and calls on all nations to prohibit financial support for the construction and maintenance of settlements. Although the United Methodist Church does not support a boycott of products made in Israel, the UMC does oppose products made by Israeli companies operating in occupied Palestinian territories. As a result, the General Board of Church and Society calls for a boycott of SodaStream, one of the occupation's many profiteers. To learn more about the GBCS position on Israel and Palestine, visit the Israel-Palestine issue page on the GBCS website. To learn more about why GBCS chose to focus boycott advocacy efforts on SodaStream and to obtain advocacy materials, check out the SodaStream Boycott Activist Toolkit.